are you doing? Uh, Skyrim. Are you are you playing or are you modding? Playing. Mo that looks mo like modding. <laughs> modding. A little bit modding. I swear to God, you have rehashed this game more times than Bethesda. take you on a journey of a week in the life of the Y740 Legion laptop. The entire week's pretty much just us fighting over it. It's been moving back and forth more than like a divorced kid during the holidays. Poor kid. <laughs> we're both we're both back and forth, but it's okay because the Lenovo Legion gets two Christmases instead of one, so. On Monday, I had my hands on the laptop and I usually like to start my weeks because right now, I'm a man between two masters, between two <laughs> lives, and there's one central element and that is the Y740 laptop. I take it to the coffee shop and I do all my tech emails. Because um, there's a lot of them, and one thing that's really cool about going to different locations, especially if you're an artist, you've always seen the artists in coffee shops being like, I'm writing a screenplay, and everyone thinks they're just doing that because they want to be seen. While that may be true, especially in LA, for a lot of people, and they've actually done studies, if you are a creative and you're working on a creative project, various environments can stimulate you differently and mm -hmm. also just moving around from your house to somewhere else can get your mind working so after i get into a different spot and i'm there and i do my emails i celebrate by doing one of two different things you know writing some stories and stuff or i play a video game and right now i've been going back through the elder scroll series uh, namely oblivion and skyrim i'll get to morrowind soon because the new morrowind rebirth just came out but i Spent a lot of time modding these. And then I finally got to take it. Ah, mine! Like it was like a golem with the ring kind of incident. Tuesday, I had a D&D &D game to run that I actually ran here in the office and uh, was using the projector and everything to give like a multimedia Dungeons and Dragons presentation basically because my D&D &D games are presentations, not just games. But yeah, I had, you know, lights and sounds and all kinds of stuff going on and everything with like pictures of crazy things up on the screen and whatnot and all kinds of crazy fantasy sounds and music playing in the background to give like that full immersion level of D&D that I like to provide for people. But Logan came in and was really upset because he was like, oh, I'm gonna come in and get some B-roll and stuff. And there I was using the Legion and being like, no, you can't touch this right now. Like it's got orc stats on it. You can't touch it. So I actually like to use the Y740 for B-roll, especially this week, we got a lot of monitors in, mm -hmm. um, this lapel. So they sent that in and I needed to do some B-roll on that, just to get some shots of it on the desk. And plus we also have a new BenQ monitor here that I needed to get some shots on. And I came in and I was like, I need to shoot B-roll because this is small and it's powerful enough that I can use this to play any game I want mm -hmm. at whatever resolution, cause it's got a 2070 and an i7 in there. So. I really needed it for B-roll. A lot of tech work, it's not very creative, mm -hmm. not very inspiring, sorry guys. But it was like, we need to go to Game Night Lounge and just sit there mm -hmm. and work on some Unreal Engine stuff mm -hmm. where I'm like driving over here on the laptop and Justin's like, hey, could you move that tree? Or maybe yeah. that, that's a that's not a good place to put the fireplace and I think we worked on putting like a blacksmith shop together. Yeah, we yeah. have the blacksmith shop mm -hmm. going and- A um, smithy. And throughout the rest yeah. of the week, I'm gonna put more into this town, but I'm building a little town in Unreal Engine right now. It's been a really good learning experience, but also the 2070 that's in the laptop is completely fast enough, which well, I was really surprised at mm -hmm. how smooth the un or smoothly the Unreal Engine uh, works. Thursday, I had yet another D&D game to run. Uh, this time it was a location D&D &D game and it wasn't here in the office. Yeah, max damage. Okay, you're gonna take uh, 15 points of damage. Did you just cheer against them? Are you what? that DM? I mean, I can, be, I can be a little excited about rolling max damage too. That was an outbreak. What are you trying yeah. to TPK over here? Yeah. <laughs> One of the things I really like is when I bring this into D&D &D games and stuff and I turn it on and everyone sees all the lights and stuff, they always comment on and are like, oh, that looks so nice. Oh, is that a is that a gaming laptop? But it definitely, every single time I bring it out to a game and open it up and once it lights up and everything, everyone always comments and is like, oh, wow, that's really cool looking. So, uh, and I was also using it for 3D printing during the day. Hey, uh, I need this laptop. What are you doing over here? I'm, I'm using it to print stuff with right now. We only have one laptop though. Well, you're gonna have to wait because I'm printing this super sweet mimic have right to, now. Have to wait. Yes. I have to. Yeah, you need to wait an hour and 13 minutes for it. Every <laughs> time I need the laptop, it's being used for 3D printing or Dungeons and Dragons. It's like these Nothing two things go together, that. right? Because you're yeah. making figures for your D&D games. <laughs> I had to print an emergency bullet. It, it had to happen for the game that night. So. Emergency bullet. Yeah. 
Good band name. We're Emergency Bulette. Are you ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Oi, we're Emergency Bulette, and we don't give a damn what you think. Friday. Obviously, they're a hair metal band, yeah. Right. Friday, we decided to go to Guardian Games and actually play some Nidhogg there because we got to do a nice dual screen play against each other. Now, we can't show you everything else, but one of the cool things about Nidhogg is you set that up in a, in a place where there's a bunch of gamers like Guardian Games, which is mm. just full of gamers, whether it's D&D, Magic, or PC games. Yep. They all come over and they're like, what's that? And you're like, hand them a controller. Yeah. And the nice thing about having this with the lapel monitor back to back on the other sides of the table is we now have two areas where you can like cheer on each person. Yep. I mean, you can play this on the laptop just as is. And the refresh rate on the monitor here is 144 hertz. So it's faster than the lapel. But for a game like Nidog, like any game like that, it's whatever. And then after after you're done, um, played a little bit of, of Valley. Valley is just a lot of fun. If you haven't played it, it's worth checking out. It's a bit older game, but you can find it just about anywhere. Uh, has really excellent movement and jumping mechanics to it. So it's all about using your momentum and stuff to jump over all sorts of crazy places across these beautiful landscapes in this weird, like robot suit that's designed to make you jump all sorts of crazy distances. It also has the power to control life and death, which they kind of just are like, eh, but you can jump. But literally you can bring things back from the dead, which is really impressive too. But it's all a fun exploration game. Yeah, if you guys yep. want to be inspired by an interesting game, I highly recommend that you guys check out Valley. So mm -hmm. an endorsement right here for another indie game. And then after that, I stole the laptop for the weekend. Wouldn't let me use it at all for the weekend. As you guys know, and as you've seen, I have been modding Oblivion and Skyrim a lot lately. Because I don't just play those games, I actually mod the hell out of them. But what I'm doing at home is I've got my big computer with the you know big monitors and everything. And I'm working a lot in Unreal Engine, um, pretty much all the time, 40 hours a week or more. I'm mm -hmm. just playing in Unreal Engine, doing stuff. And this lives on the left side of my desk. And whenever I am baking lights or whenever I need to kick out a build just to make sure everything works correctly, or whenever, I don't know, I'm importing a bunch of stuff or, you know, uploading stuff with our version control, I can't use the Unreal Engine and I turn around and just start playing Skyrim. And it's it's like a really, it's like the best use of, of, of this laptop that I've had because, so I've got a full powered PC right here and right beside me is a full powered gaming PC and it's a laptop. So as soon as I, stop working on the you know the game i just turn around and start playing a game and it's like yes life is wonderful this is great so that's what i've been doing with this i've been playing um actually oblivion on my main pc skyrim on this pc and it runs flawlessly with i've got about 60 70 mods so far and an emb running at 1080p and it's just completely buttery smooth i don't see any stuttering or anything so buttery buttery good. I don't think you've ever actually played Skyrim. I think you just spend the entire time just modding it. <laughs> it's like, a, you're still in Whiterun, admit it. I made it to Solitude <laughs> once. <laughs> but that's only because I did a mod for Solitude and I wanted to go see it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> the creation kit is a lot of fun because it's a Z-Up environment like Unreal Engine, so I can play around in that as well. I'm happy about that. Do you ever make it to the Cloud District? No, why would you? <laughs> oh, I'm quick saving right now. The kid's going down. Yep. So overall, guys, the Y740 is an awesome gaming laptop. And I'm not just saying this because they sponsored the video. I actually pursued them for the sponsorship because the build quality. Like, it doesn't look like that over-the-top, aggressive, in-your-face, plasticky gamer aesthetic. It's sophisticated, yet it has just the right amount of style. I can take it to a business meeting, or I can take this to a LAN party. Or I could take it to a business meeting and then get everybody there playing video games. It's so powerful that... Even if I'm out and about somewhere and I have a you know an idea that I want to implement immediately, whether it's making some music or working on the video game, I can just jump in right here and do it without any stuttering or any frustration. It works. Uh, lastly, the keyboard on this is very similar to the ThinkPad keyboards. Same technology brought over from Lenovo um, and put into this device. So it's a very nice typing experience and uh, that's really checking every single box that I have and it doesn't overheat, which is another big deal when it comes to gaming laptops. So this is gonna be pretty much by my side whenever I'm out and about. You know, the next gaming laptop that I get is also going to be a Legion. So guys, I highly recommend that you check out Legion uh, and all their different gaming laptops. Right now, 30% off for a lot of these things. There's a link in the description um, and there's a coupon code right in the top of the description. Be sure to click on that because this is the time of year to get these things. 30% yep. off is huge for a, a, you know, a laptop like this. All that information is going to be in the top of the description. And that has been our week in the life of the Y740 laptop. So can I use it this weekend or? I had plans for it. But I want to use it. Want? Yes. Or need? N well, need.
now that you now that you asked, I need to use it. I, I kind of need it as well. 